Hello and welcome to another of my weekly newsletters. First of all, Taylor made her at it again. Another emphatic victory, this time for Peter Hamer and Derek Tiffin, two of our senior members on Wednesday playing in the senior sweep, 47 points. Peter Hamer with his new custom fitted Taylor made M2 irons. Also, so quick look at them. Great effort, Peter, well done. Um, apparently Derek did have a, quite a big involvement as well in the event. Also, Saturday's competition, it was a yellow ball here at St Ansel Links with uh, a four ball bettable competition and there was a clean sweep for another tailor-made customer. This is this time our very own Johnny Moss, somehow. Um, he had uh, they were the, their team of himself, um, who else was in the team? Harrison Cooper, Roy Cooper and Craig Feegan, Craig Feegan, Figo he's known as. He, they scored a fantastic score. The score will just scroll along underneath here now. Um, well done, guys. But again, another victory for TaylorMade. Johnny's using the TaylorMade M1 driver and hitting it further than he's ever hit his driver. Um, he's still about 20 yards short of me, though. Okay, so, oh, there was another TaylorMade victory at the weekend. I think Dustin Johnson did quite well, but we all know he's playing TaylorMade. To be fair, he could hit it well with a broomstick and a, a saucepan on the end of it. But he's, he's number one in driving stats, number one in strokes gained for the event, and uh, now world number one. So congratulations to him. Well done, Dustin. All right, so you might notice I've got a little gadget down here. This is the, um, I'm going to show you. This is the put out. You probably read and see quite a little bit of this on the internet at the minute. Um, big social media campaign. These guys are putting some challenges together. And it's, a, it's a putting aid. We've got a nice little clip shortly to show you of one of our lady members very success, being very successful. This is a nice little simple thing. You've got to hit a put. <laughs> <laughs> that was absolutely rubbish. At least I hit it. Hit a putt, and if you're a good putt, we'll just sit and rest in the hole in the putt out. Just watch this little clip of Fran Lilly trying this. Uh, you can see at home she's had a go at it. It's about six foot she's done this from. You can see the ball just nestling nicely in. That is a good effort. Now, we're going to do some challenges with this in the pro shop. So if you fancy, you can have a go at our putt out challenge. It's a nice, simple four foot putt. You've got to try and get the ball to sit in the hole. It's quite frustrating, but really good to help you generate pace control with your putting. Other news, we are, I'm hosting uh, my 25th anniversary event for members on the 19th of March here at the Old Links. And we're looking at doing a shotgun start. 10 o'clock shotgun, around about 84, 88 golfers able to play in it. But I'm, I'm looking to generate interest and see what kind of interest there is. If there's more interest than that, we'll make it a normal one tee start and the tee will reserve from nine until two. A presentation and a meal after play, but the shotgun start will start at 10, presentation around half two. I'm going to decide which way to go once I've generated or learnt how much interest there might be in playing that event. There will be a small charge to the event. We're going to put over a £1,000 of prize in and there'll be a cracking meal after play. So if you are interested, just come and add your name to a, a sign-in sheet in the pro shop or in the clubhouse. Just help me gauge numbers. Interestingly as well, the week before, uh, Harry and Charlie were, were having them christened and I think it's quite nice, quite apt that we're going to bring the christening event to the Old Links and have a nice little meal and, and some drinks in the clubhouse and that's on the 12th. Um, again, I've been here for 25 years, christening my boys uh, and, and bringing the event to the golf club as well, which I thought would be a nice little touch for the family as well. So I'm very fortunate that we've got Ali Taylor here and I've, I've been struggling with my swing lately. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of work in my... Don't trip over the putt out. Just doing a little bit of work on my backswing and I notice on the backswing my hips don't really turn that well. They slide and I get off the ball and hit it from my back foot. So I'm really trying to get a better turn into my right heel at the top of my backswing. Now I've, I've looked, I'm a TPI instructor, I've looked at my screening and I've, I've had a bit of time with Ali. Ali, would you mind just, uh, he's been sat listening to me waffle on. Morning Al. Very interesting as ever. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we've obviously spoken down about right hips tight yeah. Particularly in that backswing position, that's the kind of internal rotation okay. for your hip, yep. your right hip. So quick little stretch, um, probably most of you guys at home will be tied on one or both hips, internally and externally. Right. So a great little exercise, very easy to do, don't need any gym equipment, you can do this at home. Okay. It's literally, Let's see how. lie yourself on the floor, put your legs at about 90 degrees, pull your belly button down to the ground, just to kind of engage your core, and then just slowly from there, 
We're just going to drop your knees down towards the ground. That's good. Then to the other side. And just keep going backwards and forwards. I'm just going to come out of the way of the camera and I'm going to have a little zoom in on you there. Certainly even for me, I can feel and do some gym work lately and not enough stretching. I can certainly feel quite tight there, Al. Tighter. I am. Ideally, we don't want to see that as you drop down, you kind of let your body come up. So keep your shoulders down, and okay. your hips as close to the ground as you can. Shall I have a quick go at that? Seeing as uh, I'll just, just move this mic out of the way a second. You on, All right. So, so like we said, lie down. Yep. Hips. Knees up, that's great. Okay. Just pull your belly button down to engage your it core. It is. <laughs> and then just gently drop your knees over to the side. Yeah. Okay. And then up the other way and across. Yeah, that's quite tight. And you should feel that kind of across yeah, here. Yeah, 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 right down the side of me uh, hips. Okay, cool. Feeling that in my lower back as well, Al. Yeah, you might feel it a little bit. I think that's because you try to keep your back against the floor. We yeah. don't want to do it so there's any pain. Yeah. But as long as you feel a little bit of stretch, that's the maximum you can okay. go. Okay, brilliant. If you do want to add a little bit extra to it, which you might not initially, of course. Yeah, yeah. you can drop down as far as we can, Yeah. take a deep breath, Oh yeah, yeah. your hand against there, and push up with your legs holding against. Okay. And then as you breathe out, Yeah. Oh yes, okay. You can just see that's going a little bit deeper into the stretch, isn't it? So as you relax more, yeah. the muscles allow you to stretch Ace? a little bit. Okay, extra. I'm not going to try that now, but yeah, appreciate oh. that. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Al. No Thank problem. you very much. You can crack on with your coaching. Okay, really useful stretch there from Ali. I didn't mention that I might be a little bit tight as well because I was at the velodrome last night. I'm, I was, I'm quite a fan of cycling and I went and spent an hour and a half cycling around the velodrome track for, with, with our cycling team. A couple of members doing it as well. Great fun. I think the quads are feeling it a little bit. Okay, so again, thank you for watching this week's news. Remember, click like if you liked it and subscribe. I'm nearly at 300 subscribers now, guys, so it'd be great if you could get there again. I'm going to do another prize for, for that. So thanks again. Uh, keep watching. I'll see you all soon.